Mike Pulaski, who played, and I remember it well, for the best Cal team, a team that almost beat the national champions, Washington and Berkeley. Um, he is the Cal Bears TV analyst. He was a great quarterback for them, and he is now joining us live. Mike, thank you. Um, all right, so you've seen Jared Goff play a lot more than I have, although I saw him a half dozen times. What is your favorite thing about Jared Goff, Mike? Wow, I mean, you start with one favorite thing. I think in terms of personality, it's his toughness because the kid took a beating over the last three years uh, in that bear rate offense where they have that run pass option. So, so many times when he's pulling the ball and throwing it, he has zero pass protection. And uh, so his toughness, I like. He is a great team guy. And he, any of his teammates you talk to will tell you he is a leader. He's a team guy all the way. Very humble for as talented as he is. And in terms of physical skills, uh, skills, he has an arm that is out of this world. I mean, it is the likes of a John Elway, Jeff George, uh, Brett Favre type of arm. Now, people are saying... And, and I think physically he looks a little like Matt Ryan. Um, he's a little slender. Should we be concerned that he's a skinny kid and he may take a beating the first couple of years in the NFL? Uh, anybody who says that didn't watch his last three years at Cal because there's no way he gets hit any more than he did at Cal at the next level. Um, he, he will put on weight. I think by the time that Jared's done playing, he'll probably, probably be a 250-pound guy. You know, his dad is, is a, uh, is a good-sized guy, his mom. Uh, his athletic build, so I think genetically he's, he's going to be in that 240, 250-pound range by the time he's done, but he can handle a beating. He's taken a beating at Cal, uh, and only one serious injury over the course of three years in spite of the pounding. Um, again, I saw, I'm saw. i a Pac-12 guy. I grew up out west. I moved here, so I spent a lot of this football season watching quarterback play, and I felt he was very polished. Tell people, I mean, he threw the ball in losses – you know, there were times he threw 51 times, 48 times. I mean, they, they clearly relied on him. What type of offense, Mike, did he play in? Well, the Bear Raid is that run-pass option, the read option uh, game that you see uh, Mike Leach originated down at Texas Tech. He's running up to Washington State. Uh, started it with Hal Mummy. And so it's just this wide-open offense that really tries to create space and then get the ball to receivers in space. And so as a quarterback in that system, you have to have great instinctive reads, meaning that things aren't going to be as clean as if you go through a progression, one, two, three, here's where I go with it. You have to be able to read defenders and find out where they give you space. And so you're working different concepts against the defenders. And instinctively, because you don't have that, that protection, you have to have great anticipation. You have to make throws on time and have to be accurate. And, and he was very good at that. He was able to throw – accurately from any position. Uh, I liken his ability to throw off balance to, to Kurt Warner, who you could see Kurt Warner throw from almost any position. Jared Goff can do that, but he's got a bigger arm than Kurt has. You play the National Football League, uh, I think XFL, I remember, yeah, Arena League as well, <laughs> Mike, Mike Pulaski. Um, we have video here. There's the story Gridiron Outdoor, a show you host. Um you, can we want to show this now? Do you want to show this? Greg, you want to show this? Oh, here, here's the video right now. So two guys from Berkeley go duck hunting is from what I can tell. Tell me about Jared Goff, his personality, because I'm watching the video here. Tell me about his personality. Well, well, we're out hunting pigs, actually, in California. So there's a big pig problem in California. He took Jared out for his very first hunt along with his dad. And the, it, it's awesome getting quarterbacks together because you always have that competitive nature everything's about competition whether it be on the hunt or shooting archery for the first time we taught jared how to shoot with the ruger american rifle uh, and really his first range experience with classic training and so he was competing with his dad you know even though this time doing this with classic training on the ruger he's out there and he's competing with his dad and so that competition is a huge part of successful quarterbacks and that's what he was like on the hunt at the same time great learner he listened to everything, hung on every word, really absorbed what I was teaching him. And, and both of those assets are going to be huge for any quarterback. This is great. Mike Pulaski. Uh, his dad played Major League Baseball. What kind of dad, um, personality-wise, what should we expect with Jared Goff? You said he's a good learner. Is his dad tough on him? He's a former big leaguer. 
Yeah, his dad, his dad is a classic athlete dad. You know, he always competes with the sun. We were talking about it during the show. And actually, anybody who watches the show or anybody who wants to check it out, they can go to our social media sites uh, for Gridiron Outdoors. There's a lot of clips up there. But he, he talks about the competition that he established with the sun and that he never gave him an inch and never said, hey, I'm going to let him win. He, he, he coached him, but he drove him. And Jared said he thought he was harder on him like any kid will be, right? Any kid thinks their dad's harder on them. But in the end, I think all that paid off in terms of Jared's progression and his toughness, his ability to handle that 1-11 season that he had as a freshman and then come back and flourish as a sophomore and really kind of control the game as a junior. I'm going to say something, and it's going to sound ridiculous, but I watched Jared Goff during the John Gruden quarterback camp, and you know who he reminded me of? He reminded me of Tom Brady. He really did. He was very humble. Um, didn't give anything away like Brady, really good-looking kid, very confident. But I found him to be Tom Brady. He was disciplined enough with Gruden that he would laugh at the jokes. He knew what he was talking about, but he was pretty succinct. He wasn't going to give a ton of his personality away. So I don't know. I, 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 I defend the pick. I, I have no problem with it. I think he carried a program. Uh, Mike Pulaski does the Bears uh, games. And uh, it's kind of exciting. I, I hope it works out for him. I really appreciate you coming on the show. You've been great today, Mike. No problem. Absolutely been great. Anytime you want me on, we get guys on all the time. We have Hostetler on this year. We had Big Ben on this year. So we got guys coming out on Good Iron Outdoors all the time. And, and if anybody, by the way, wants to get any of that camo that he's wearing, Go Wild Camo is a major sponsor for us. So feel free to check it out. Mike Pulaski. Thank you, sir. Great. Thanks, Colin. Take care.